Hello, hello, hello everybody. How are you today? Welcome on this channel. Discovering Osaka. Walking around. Slightly windy again today. So today we're going to Tsuruhashi, the Korean district of Osaka. We will try to see why it is said to be so. All alerts on, are on. It seems that everything is okay. So let's go. I came out at the far end of the uh, subway station and we're gonna go toward the Kintetsu station which is the heart of the Korean town so Tsuruhashi is a very animated uh, sub-center of Osaka it's a very active neighborhood very active district one of the most active I would say among the Stamachi we would say so the sub centers it is a temple of Yakiniku so you will have here a lot of places offering yakiniku like this with the spice so that's why yakiniku is known to be a korean dish so that's why one of the reasons more likely why it's uh, called the korean town we yeah, are just one or two things So coming around here, we are under the Kintetsu station. So first we will go that way. See, you have this small street with some activities, some decorations, it seems. So we will 
go through that to start today's visit uh, to plug a bit uh, tomorrow we're gonna have a short shorter program it's gonna be an interview of uh, a young fellow uh, who is living in Japan now studying in Japan and who is in the field of uh, animation he will tell you exactly what he studies, what he does. That will be for tomorrow. But the guy is a student graduating from animation school at the end of the current year. Should be an interesting interview. So when we cross here and go through, here is our little street. You have a small, you know, mix of the structure for the uh, railway and street decoration. So we have quite a few different businesses around, but it's mostly footing, of course. It's not only Yakiniku, you have pizza, espresso and these kind of things, so an interesting thing. So you see that the decoration goes on for a little while, so we're gonna follow until... Hello, Inuvik! How are you today? So we'll follow this street until we run out of decorations and I think that will be at the end of that part of the neighborhood. Table tennis shop and practice room, nice. Oh, Venere streamer aux inspirations. <laughs> Osaka, la zitoa, zatoa. Uh, it seems that this is a place good for table tennis. They do have a few, it seems. So nowadays they are clearing, probably to, ref to reform. So they are clearing the under the space under the railway. Et comment te dire euh, merci de ta venue euh, au grand gourou des clips euh, et euh, maître des saisies d'écran. So as you can see, we have numbers under arches. It's not only It's not only for the care to refer, to have reference and stuff, which you see you see obviously happening here. This has been repainted and restructured when the rest has been re uncovered this uncovered recently and will be taken care of soon. And you see that each spot is actually for a possible building. So you see, a business like this is under one arch, one spot. So they do sell or rent, I don't know, those spaces. So 
so we are reaching the end of that part okay this is the sign for the Tsuruhashi Ekimai Shotengai it's written but actually the occupation under the railway keeps on going for a little while it's okay someday you know some days my content is not that wonderful you know you have good times bad times good places bad places we'll see you know we give it a shot So we go back to the crossing on the other side of the railway. Same process, but the street has been more developed. And uh, so it looks more like a regular street. And the shops are a bit more in front of the railway, not exactly. Of course, they have the same shop than on the other side. I think. Might not be, actually. If you look at this... We have two different feelings. Maybe it can be two different places, actually. One deeper than the other. That's... That's something that would need to be well looked at. Ah, il n'évite même pas la rate au cours bouillon. S'il n'y a pas de contenu, c'est aussi parce que le lieu est pas fantastique, ça arrive. C'est pas que de l'or la ville non plus. no wasted space in japan no and actually you know actually that was good for them because it's it was kind of for it was stabilized so those places were more uh, earthquake proof than regular houses you know it's uh, connected to the pillars of the railway and those were the most engineered things around so actually those places even though it was very uh, noisy it was safer for earthquakes oh we have a nice place here nice looking cafe and tapas bar el palado al final xeles cerveza So, so far, not so much Korean feeling to this. Hello, Red. Oui, oui, j'ai dansé, bien sûr. Mais c'était pas la première fois, hein. je le connaissais. Ce... Je connaissais le monsieur et je connaissais cette performance. Let's talk about how narrow buildings can be in Japan. This place is narrow so that you have two doors and that's it. It's no wider than two doors. One is a karaoke and the other one is a cafe. And I guess they live on top or behind it, something like that. So they are usually open. I wonder what the shop is like inside. One of those places, you know.
Okay. So, to let you know what we're gonna try. I did this to make sure for the connection because now we're gonna challenge the connection. Our main attraction for the day is this place over there. And you know, it's covered, lots of metal. So, I don't know how good the connection will be. That would be a, our challenge for the day. We know that the, co the connection is all right at the moment. So let's dare the gods of wireless connection. The smell of uh, yakiniku is not as strong as usual. Not that I have been living here much. I, I come like once every three or four years. Friends bring, take me to a yakiniku. I don't really like it that much. I'm not a meat guy, so. But uh, the feeling is different than usual. the funky part that's where we want to be so you have an arcade following the railway that is quite famous you do get more Korean food to it so if you like Korean food, this is the kind of place where you want to come. Very narrow, I don't have space to go behind, okay? So, I'm sorry. The Shoten guy is slightly extensive. So, you know, we'll have to go different ways. We'll go straight first. It has a very marché feeling. So we're going to the right first. The more traditional side is actually back here. Connection seems to be holding. The place did change. Okay. Give me a second for, to get my bearing. I'm not getting what I expected to get. There was an alignment of Korean specialty shops around here before and they're not around anymore. That's disturbing. Wow. Okay. So let's go to the restaurant places around here. It looks authentic. I like it. Yeah, it's, it is authentic. It's a sub town and tourists don't change it because tourists coming here are Korean. So, you know, they are, you know, keeping things like home basically. So you have small streets everywhere. It has a very big city feeling. So we we'll go down this street.
all those are restaurants you get yakiniku almost every time many good places it's korean food all over the place so This place is, tends to be kind of famous. They do get some traction by celebrities. Even Yokozunas. Uh, no, Sumotoris, this one didn't become a Yokozuna. Yet. This one might be actually. Might have been. I don't. And this inside is very clean, very nice looking. Turn around, go under, and turn back in from another entry, another entrance, more likely. Yeah, with many restaurants closed, it doesn't have exactly the same feeling. This was a car parking and they changed it into a bicycle parking. So the elevators for cars are not used anymore. You know, the underground feeling of it is quite nice. See, when this is usually open, you know, it gives a different feeling to the place. The other side we don't have that many shops under the railway. So, so let's take it there again. Connection is holding. <laughs> Bring on right. You have some schools around. So you have a, long, a lot of young ladies uh, dealing with hairdressing, cosmetics and things. Around. Will my phone be able to, yes, get
So this is the covered market. We will go through now. So the one we briefly went through before. So you get Korean kimchi, handmade, all over the place. If you like it, you will find tons. Of, <laughs> you will find tons of here. You can have it with uh, cooking and without cooking. So I think this place, you have some tempura variations. You have chicken. chicken. This place with a few more eateries around would be better than Kuromon. You know, a bit, a few more uh, Japanese style food places, and it would be the best place to go to eat in Osaka. So that's where you can also get uh, traditional Korean dressing, dresses, costumes. So it's nice. very touristic so you actually get some cut boards to take pictures with your face in it no, they have some touristic small options this is a place where you can sit to eat what you bought. It's pretty nice. A lot of good food around. Moving on to the more traditional, more ancient place. So here, yeah, this is the feeling of this is the feeling of tsuruhashi. Okay. This this is tsuruhashi. You come here for this. Fresh fish. on this side we're basically out so we can go down this way How many of those places will reopen full activity after COVID? I don't know, but uh, I wish them well. This is so nice, very nice feeling. So 
some part is on reflection, but still, you know, shops are selling a lot of specialties. Here we get pork, I think. It's a dry fish, I don't know what fish it is, but uh, mentor. So, those are dried. This thing is too slow to turn. Some nice modern cafes in the middle. Yeah, if there were a few more eateries of Japanese food, like uh, donburi and this kind of thing, I think this would be the, by far the best place to come eat. The best experience in Osaka, better than Kuromam. So it does open to ethnic as well. So that's a good part of it. So you get Vietnam food. So Tsurashi is a neighborhood of immigrants, Koreans, but not only Koreans by now. So it has a different feeling. You're more in, in Asia than in other places in here. T-shirts. Kind of hunch up. You have remade buildings and all the houses dating from the war. Some Victorians too, yes. Nice looking pink cafe. And it's really a mix with, you know, the shops and 10 meters further you have people living and stuff. It's, you know, really an integrated town. It's a whole town. So it's something that brings, you know, the special feeling to it. It's very easy to get lost in here. You lose your bearings very easily with all the small streets you get on the, you get on the sides so you know it's kind of i don't know any other place like this in osaka other places it's kind of straight you have one short end guy with small spaces to the side but nothing to get lost in but here you can use your bearings very fast we can make several turns and still be in the under in the covered area. So it really gives a very special atmosphere to the place.
My hand is falling numb. I don't know why. <laughs> So I think that this place actually connects to Imazato. So Imazato is basically the, the backside of Tsuruhashi. And it's a place where you would have more of the dirty business. Uh, let's not get the nice looking woman on the screen. She might not like it so much. Here, look at this nice restaurant. Korean, of course. Nice decorations. So, you know, you can get Korean feeling. Of course, you have places about Korean popsters. So the current idols will have places dedicated to them. With merchandise, of course. Like everywhere else, you do have some mythological stories told. It's usually a local old nationalist guide doing these kind of things. But you know, you get educated, so why not? It's not hurting anybody. He's telling a story about what used to be close to the Honganzi. Showing some important part. of the place gives us a few things to look for some of the results I've I actually not seen so let's see I will take a picture and take another look later because I think I will miss some important stuff I'm not Google mapping at the same time so if you want Korean popsters merchandise here you go Badges, pillows, lots of pillows. This has been going on for more than 20 years. I've always done this kind of shops in this neighborhood. King Kong juice and coffee. Gangnam chicken. So if you want chicken Gangnam style, that must be here. Watermelon juice, real fruit latte. They get chung chun. Some sausage, closed hot dogs, mozzarella cheese hot dogs. Lamyon noodle, chips, hot dogs. No. Korean street food. 
with the patisserie with the special macaron. Oh, let's show you the macaron actually. So, the place is called, here we go, over macaron. And the macaron they offer are very exquisite. If you can see the screen, I will zoom. Look at the macaron they offer. So we'll see, we'll see about the macaron later. I don't know, I might be too far to come back for it. We'll see. So we reach one big avenue. Oh, come on, please, take care of your bike. So... Okay, I need to check Google to get my bearing. I'm slightly lost of when and where I ended. So I just give you a second on this view. So I cannot see the cannot see the chat at the moment. I see a building not too far that could be fun if I understand what it is before to go. But no, it's not actually anything fun it seems, so we won't go there. Thank you Enovic. So we'll go back in the short end guy to get more there are so many small alleys we didn't go through yet we'll go back there let's dive in again ah oh, but i'm going in front of this macaron shop again that could be a bar it's only young women, young patissiers taking care of it. Seems a nice new project. So, if you come around, please consider Over Macaron. That was the name of the shop, right? Thank you, Inuvik. Actually, guys, Let's fuck it. Let's get some macaron. I want to eat some. I want to taste it. I want to try it. The hot dog I want, but the macaron, yeah, I will. So, let's see what do I want. What do I want? I 
I will go for the chocolate one, so maybe the picture is better, maybe. Let's see. Thanks a lot, Inovec. Thanks. Grazie mille. I will go for choco and mm, and matcha choco. Konnichiwa. Ano, choco maracaron to matcha choco. Iko zutsu. Iko zutsu de onegashimasu. Okay, so here is Yeah, please come to Kansai. We are so much more interesting than other places that I will not name. So this place is Come De Fleur Japan. They have an Instagram. It's a Korean, I don't know what. Okay. Let's go. It's lots of uh, brand new investment in here. They have a new balcony. Hmm. It's a coffee shop and dessert. With a French name. Okay, sure. So let's see, where can I settle down and just tease you with my macaron? Okay, this is funky. There is a convenience store with an O2 box, which is an oxygenation box. You know, you get into ozone to help with uh, some problems it's you know quite surprising to find that in a convenience store so let's see where can I set on down easily Yeah, that's why I am looking for, you know, a nice place to do so. I will try to find a small kids park in the back of the neighborhood. I could sit 
nicely around here. The parking. You know, that parking actually should be fine. Obviously no car will come in. So I should be fine. So let me see. I set on down. I sit. Take off the backpack. I offer you a wonderful view of the ground and then I flip the camera. Here we are guys. So we bought two Macaron. Presentation in a small box like this. I cannot no. The box looks this way. So it is you know nice patisserie. It's quite expensive. It's 400 yen, so four dollars. 3.8 euros basically each. So eight dollars for both. I went for classical taste. La guerre comme la guerre. Yavol. Air general. Uh, let me see. Can I? Do I have something to clean up my hand a bit? Yeah. I will. I always have my alcohol with me, anyways. That would be my like, uh, minimal wash. It's not cheap, no, but I would guess it's going to be good. I will wipe a bit. In Japan, always go around with one or two of those hand towels with you. It's not to, you know, take your nose. It's to basically help you uh, dry your hands when you go to public bathrooms. And it's also good for your, the sweat during summer it's always convenient in summer it gets wet very very fast so you should have two so the look of those you know they are not small okay this is the one chocolate taste okay it's not a small thing compared to my mouth I, I, can, I don't think I can bite it at once. Not once. Shit, my stuff is flying away. Wait, 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 wait. That's a catastrophe. Wait. Bad trash. Very bad trash. Behave. Okay. Here we go again. So, as I was saying, those are not cheap, but they are not small. This is not Pierre Hermé thing. You see the filling between the two pieces? That's huge. It's ganache, it's good. So I think I will break it down to eat it. I cannot, it's gonna be a mess if I take a bite out of this. It's not a one bite thing. That is heavy. That ganache is, you know, dense. Very dense. You know, you do have your walls of chocolate in there. Chocolate is strong, not too bitter. I should have taken only one because, wow, that's heavy. <laughs> it's a cake. Look how, look how thick 
It is. It's a it's a cake I bought. That thing is huge. That thing is well made. That thing has a very good taste. The chocolate is there strongly. It is worse the three euros. It's not a small, you know, small thingy by the side. This is a small cake. This is what you get with a cafe gourmand. Definitely, you know, it's. Wow. Yeah, consider, you know, it's just, it's heavy. If you're a light eater, you know, maybe share it. Otherwise, you know, just um, don't, don't have dessert at the end of your lunch because, whoa, that is. I have a second one, which is green tea and uh, chocolate. This chocolate is lighter, it's not ganache like before. Um, I was expecting to get a bit of uh, matcha powder on top, it's, I don't. A bit disappointed on that. Also, they went for the facility because they put a Kit Kat in it. But, you know, they, get a, they put a Kit Kat in there, so, you know, that already you see where the price you paid goes, you know. They do spend money on the, um, on the ingredients. So. Not as good. It's all right. I was expecting more bitterness from matcha more matcha taste because of the sweet i don't have it uh, for the texture it's quite soft but the kit kat is hard so you get you know a bit of crunchy in the middle that's a good idea actually you don't go through easily you have to bite it so that's nice but i would have expected more of an adult taste to it chocolate is lighter than the previous one so a bit too sweet I would have hoped for bitterness Issue might be, you know, I had a big chocolate one before, so might have changed my taste, but especially in this order, I would have expected so much more bitterness from this. A bit more of a buttery feeling. The chocolate one, chocolate one was top notch. That was an A. Matcha one is a B. They could have done better. But, hmm, you know, I'm not disappointed with my overall experience. You know, I, I did buy, I did spend money for cakes basically at that price, and I did get cakes. So, no disappointment, you know. Room for improvement, but satisfied. I do recommend over macaron at the edge of the Tsuruhashi uh, Shoten Guide. Let's clean up a bit the hands again. Alcohol, always handy, even without COVID going around. I will wash the sugar down 
with black tea. Supermarket. This is sold in the supermarket like 60 yen. So, you know, black tea should be one of the things you go to for your drinks. No sugar, good taste if you like tea. And you know, 600 milliliters. It's not a one time drink, it's a two times. So, okay. So, I take my trash with me. Never leave your trash behind. Okay. Always leave space in the back, in the bag, more like me, to put your trashes. Streaming bag back on. Up, going back up. Recalibration and turning around. So let's dive back in. Hello, Kayul. Is that it, Kayul? What are the coolest facts you share on your guided tours? Well, actually, it depends on my audience, you know? Different people, different age, different uh, social categories invite for different stories. Um, I talk a lot about uh, what I have uh, lived as an experience with uh, the Japanese people, my friends, my family along the years. So it's gonna be some kind of special experience. It can range from uh, participating in the uh, sports festival every year for my kids to uh, making a speech at a friend's wedding or um, some stories with my friends going out to have a drink together. I do have many, many stories. It really depends on what people ask me, how the conversation flows, you know, uh, during the tour. It's all custom. It's, uh, we decide uh, the accordion music is a bit disturbing. Uh, we decide what we're gonna go see together and we adjust during the day. It's, you know, um, my ability and the ability of my colleagues to customize the experience is our main point. My best draw doping fact. Uh, can I have more information about you, Kayul? Like, um, which country are you from? You're in California. So let's see. Uh, for someone from California. A draw dropping story of inf or information. Let's see, give me a second to 
think of, the, of it. Should I go to the left for small? We might have gone through this one already, I don't know. Um, so... I recently discovered that uh, in Japan you get around 400 yeah that's the one we went through before you have around 400 uh, uh, people 200 of both of each sex uh, between the age of 15 and 19 becoming widows 400 people 200 young women and 200 young men going widowed between the, <clears throat> the age of 15 and 19 in a country where you need parental approval to get married under the age of 18 let's go deep in the dark places widow yes their partner died so those people went through two hardships one kind of happy i guess and one very dark all those places are closed because of the covid so we're gonna get stuck guys so they went through so they went through two hardships first to get married they needed parental approval and thing and then soon after they became widow To me, coming from France, that's a huge number. I cannot imagine what leads to this kind of situations. So all this part is usually open, or used to be open when I was coming around here. Brand new bathrooms, and it's all closed now. Those shops actually do sell for restaurants. So some of them moved out, but it seems this part is just closed down. You have those three alleys. Yeah, it's an information I didn't get yet. It's a pretty recent discovery going through Japanese statistics. It's not uh, unusual. It's not a specific uh, COVID time thing. It's uh, regular and it's pretty regular. So I'm looking for now the reasons why young people get married and get widowed so fast, so early in life. It's uh... so that would ma that would be my jaw dropping of the week, basically. And after that, if I want to, uh, if I want to go personal, you know, I can uh, t tell you about one of my students who has been married for two years, and he didn't have any sexual activity with his wife for the last three years. So. 
so you know it really depends on the conversation he calumit look at this guy This looks like good meat, doesn't it? Okay, the, the floor is not straight. For those of you who want to know why I can't adjust. This meat looks fantastic. The shop looks good. The name is Hikaru Meat. Clean, nice looking, good meat on the pictures. Definitely a place you would like to try. They do Uber Eats as well. DD Food and Food Panda. To the other side, when they're open, you get seafood. With famous people coming around. Yeah, guys, you know. This part is more Japanese food, raw fish and stuff. So really, you know, one place to go eat, very Asian way, it's definitely Tsuruhashi. Kuromon is cool, but Tsuruhashi is cooler, definitely. We have more eateries here under the bridge. with an outside feeling to it. I will go back in there. Uh, Victor is uh, moving, if you want to know. So he's busy at the moment. I do have personal uh, contacts with him. And uh, yeah, he's busy at the moment. He will be back, but you know, he has a few weeks to be very busy moving in. You have back backyards basically that can be changed from you know parking to to outside the tree and look at the see those are like small houses connected together. Yeah, you can watch the clips, yes. So guys, the promise I can make to you at the moment is that we will be back here as soon as things reopen. We're gonna do uh, all you can eat live 
in here. The feeling of Tsuruhashi is definitely the best one in Osaka. We will be back when it reopens. And you can do your shopping as well, you know, it's just... Uh, you have to come early. This is now is way too late. We'll go the small street after, we'll go the big one first. Yakiniku with the meat, lots of meat selling, bentos, very good deals for bentos. Another side street we need to try. Another macaron place. Ah, here's the Ichigo one was fine. Oh, you can have, you can have traditional tea. You can buy your tea here. Your green tea with roasted uh, rice or not. I um, I will get back to it uh, in a week. I finish the sweet and I go back to the bento. Some K-pop shop. Knives and scissors. Maybe not as good as those we saw in a previous shop, but probably all right. And we are back at the big street. So, let's go back to the bentos. Okay, this is a new word. I have no idea where it comes from. Korean, maybe? Kroifel. It's not a waffle, it's a kroifel. And they change, they change the spelling according to the board you're, what you're looking at. So for bentos, it's really Tsuruhashi style because you do get meat and kimchi. It's good stuff. I forgot to take my dinner, so am I taking something to go? I cannot warm up, so this would be not so great. Karaage, I cannot warm up, it's a bit. And we have meat processed. Here you are shrimps, gambas. It looks like a good deal. For this size and things, the price seems okay.
bit of beef. So it's a mix, you get clothes and you get food and restaurants, K-pop merchandise. Underwear, dried food. So it is quite close to the right. The end is over there. So we move back in to the left. We are back at the station. <laughs> Anything else we missed around here? Huh? I don't think we went through there because I don't remember seeing La Vie en Rose. So I guess we should look for the uh, opinion of uh, Papsan or this kind of guy about these places to see if, you know, the food feels like Korea. So it's a place for style at the moment, I think. There are quite a few shops to get Korean style, which is a bit more adult and chic than the Japanese one. Some Korean idols places. Hello, Igelix. So this is the guy we saw before. The one road we didn't take was a bit further there. So those small alleys do have names that are quite ancient. Actually, this is Tsuruhashi, actually. Okay, so it is a Tsuruhashi Shoten guy. I guess they extended with new signs over time. With immigrants. <laughs> So, pet, half socks, uh, pet clothes actually, idol merchandise, phone cases, t shirts again.
Yeah, this is definitely the place I have not worked enough. It's way further than just Korean town. It's way more interesting than that, actually. So, it's worth way more time. So we are back to the nice ladies over there. Oh, guys, we get our little shrine of the day. Oh, nice. Wait, look at this. This shop, it is just a counter shop along this building in a kind of dark place. But before that, you get the shrine so it's a jizo actually so it's a bit more buddhist than shrine actually so let's see if we go here and here you cannot see inside but you can see the lights inside that's a cool thing. And we get more Sultan guy. Je suis bon public. Ouais. Je fais les mêmes blagues, ça doit être ça. You get all kind of styles for clothes. We'll come around to see if size-wise they do have things for me. Yeah, this actually this town actually is the one with most intricate covered market. Uh, Igelix, ici c'est là que tu as la plus grande zone en fait d'entrelacement. Les autres à Osaka c'est juste des grandes longueurs et c'est tout, il n'y a rien sur les côtés. Tandis qu'ici tu as vraiment tout un méandre, tout un labyrinthe de. d'aller couverte. C'est spécifique vraiment à ce quartier là. Donc pour le feeling de marché couvert, c'est vraiment le meilleur marché, le meilleur quartier. Il y a du vieux, du jeune, il y a, il y a de tout. Toutes les bouffes aussi. Ok, ici nous sommes back to that nice sign, so let's move back there. There is more to the left. So, all these lengths of uh, covered alleys, you know, is a great part of this area. That's what you come here for. And what is funny is that, you know, all of a sudden, it finishes and you are inside the station. This station is right here. So this is a JR station. Right here. It's 
so this is um, basically it uh, let's see let i'm yeah it's like a movie yes like the, what they would have for, for movies let me check my google map to see if i can find one of those two places we do have indicated on the uh, map we saw before Yeah, I don't have any idea where the gates are. Meeting fini, cool. Ah. Ah, juste parce que t'es là, on va prolonger un petit peu. Um, so we've been through the covered area and things. I'm wondering where those gates we saw on the maps are. So we'll walk a little bit around. To try to find those. The map was showing some water, but I don't see any water around. So that's what is disturbing me a bit. Let's see, water, ah, oh, there is water there, around Imazato. Okay, so I'm, wronging the, I'm wrong, going the wrong way. Let's go the other side, try to hit the water. Could help find the gates. This is style. I wish I could dress like this. Finir avec un beau bâtiment. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. This is a pickup area for the station. <rire> le jour où j'aurai le gimbal avec l'appareil photo fixé dessus et tout, ce jour-là on fera du cinéma. On, on investira dans un steadicam et on traversera tous les quartiers en steadicam. So the covert market is basically everything to our right. So it's all that space. You see the lengths. 
basically the, the sideways that is covered is exactly the same length than the covered market in the neighborhood to the right. En grand angle, bien sûr, sans déformation. Avec une Canon C20 et tout. On fera du cinéma, on fera du cinéma un jour. Du grand cinéma. Allez maintenant, fais l'amour à la caméra. Oui, tu n'aimes pas la caméra. Avec une voix off et tout. We will do that. So, let's see. We are hitting the, the end of this. I see that the audience is increasing. So once I reach the place I want to check out, we will go back to the station through the covered market one more time. So, you know, you will feel the need to go back, have a look at the entire video to get a feel of that covered market in Tsuruhashi, Osaka, what is called the Korean district. But it's not only that. It's the covered market district. Grand angle, modem, <laughs> modem multi-sim, steadicam, yeah, yeah, the whole bunch of things. With a Sharpa following me, holding the the streaming bag, you know. So we are going toward Imazato, which is a different uh, district, different station as well, you know. And on the way, we need to find the water. Tout d'un coup, il se retourne et il parle à la vendeuse de bento. Elle dit « Alors, mon bidou, tu manges quoi ?» Il répond « Donne-moi le bento en guise, j'ai très faim. <laughs> » I don't know if I would do that in Ulrich. Oh, we have a nice thing here to the left. Let's cross. Look at this. We have Japanese content. Right here to the corner, you get this little shrine. I know every country, but I cannot read the damn thing. You know, it sucks. I don't know what the pronunciation will be. So since they leave uh, offerings, I think this is qualified as a grave it's probably an event related grave they lost a tree unfortunately but yeah to that corner you get this if anybody is willing here you have the text. Take a capture and uh, let us know what it says. 
I don't really want to spend the time translating. So let's see. Am I getting closer to the water? Yeah, I need to go straight, Tim. I guess Google Translate should be able to deal with the thingy, with this little text. And you know, if you're bored of good food, you can always go to Domino's, you know, in this area. Yes, they have a big Domino here. You can eat it, you can eat in. So, you know. Wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. It's not what we're looking for, but we have a sighting, guys. And I, I have to cross back to the other side. Damn me. Guys, here we have a toady. That is, it seems, taken in the building. You see that, guys? So we need to go check out this shrine, right? A small corner is good, but to get in a real shrine, you know, it's a miss you don't want to have to live with because it would be too much pain. A missed shrine, not good. Okay, I have disgusted viewers, it's going down again. Damn, what did I do? This kind of shooting I did the not complete unzooming is another mistake too many rookie mistakes on this channel you know after a while you know it's just it's hard to to stay on with so many rookie mistakes but you know once needs to learn once needs time to learn could they be linked? They could. Well, that would not be my first guess, but they could be. Many shrines did sell land, you know, to go by, but um, they would keep uh, things connected so those are separated so it feels unlikely to me but you know still it's possible so we are going through this shrine it's a, it might be the shrine building there this is definitely the garage for Omikoshi. So they do have a big Omikoshi that you probably see during Tenjin. So when you enter a shrine at the Tori, you bend once for respect. Nowadays, there is no wa water washing, uh, hand washing, but they provide you with alcohol. So. So look at this, this is great. The connection between 
the office right there to the right where i'm going now to the shrine itself just like in big shrines it's connected through a covered galley like this it's not that that often you don't have that many places doing that so it's You will have in Osaka, I only know Osaka Ten Mango doing so. It's usually at the tangent, yeah. And you go under the gari, so they go up, so they don't need to actually, you know, touch the ground and get in the rain to go to the office. The Komainu are exquisite, unusual. A bit of a Korean feeling to it. So we got the ah, we got we get now the mm. the old omikoshi garage with somewhat of a garden around the shrine of course so let's do our usual devotion you come here you give money You bow twice, clap your hands twice, bow once, and you're done. You can see the inside, this is pretty rare. They usually hide it or tell you to not take pictures. So let's being confident because they didn't protect themselves against our bad will. As you see, you have, a, you have an exit through under the gallery. You do have, it used to be a door. You have only the pillars left. Hello, Victor. So here we are. We get back in and we have an Inali shrine to the side. I guess it's an Inali. Oh no, it's not. Very low stone. This is height of my eyes, so. I eat the tori if I get in like this. You need to bow. So better bow once more here. Add the tori. Helps us go through actually. Yeah, it's an inani. Okay, we have foxes. Foxes are spotted. Okay. To the side we have the so this is the main place. This is a place where the divinity 
Fulkers. So it seems we have a bit of uh, traditional side of the district here. So just let's have a look ahead it. I see what might be a temple over there. So all those stones are by donators. That's the name of donators. And here we get a view of the shrine, backside. I run up those, I wish. <laughs> I wish I had I run up those. So Victor, since you're here, we've learned something today. You must go to Tsuruhashi market. This is the place to go eat. Tsuruhashi is the best place to eat. Here you have a local temple. I love all the decorations to scare demons on the roof. It's always very cool. Ah, oh, there would be a nice picture to take with my camera here. A traditional house here with some modernized part, the mix of genres is pretty interesting. <laughs> so we try to go back to the water to see if we can find the traditional gates. The market is very, very big, so it might take a while to find the shop you want to eat in, but you can find many, many different kinds of food in this and market, covered market in Tsuruhashi. Hello Izobimo, I thought I saw you before. Hello, hello. So what we are trying to do now before I need to end the stream is to reach the water close to the water we should be able to find a historical bridge or over the water more likely and close to it we should be able to find traditional gates of the Korean neighborhood which we didn't have around the market I have never actually spotted those before so you know I don't know if I will find them right away now I can't see them on the Google map. I'm just trying to figure out where they are according to a map we saw earlier on a wall. So, you know, we are into risky business. And we are on a timer because I need to go work. <laughs> At some point, you know, I need to go make money. Oh, nice workers, neighborhood. <laughs> Better later than never, yes, for sure. It's all right, you can watch the VOD, you know. Not a big 
problem. On ne fait pas de reproches ici, c'est pas le but du truc. On est là pour profiter. So somewhere further, we have small, small factories and nice houses and it's all mixed. That's what is fun with Osaka. You find all activities in all places. So let me see my Google. Should get closer to my target. Kind of. I'm half of the way only actually to the water. Okay. Well. I have to be careful in getting close to Imazato because that the, we will have a place there that is, uh, you know, for the professional or love. So I have to be careful. Hello, said. Um, good morning. Yeah, I guess the function is not that quick on uh, Twitch. That's why it's uh, it's that way. You need to take it at a low pace. Magogolo, a restaurant. Son propre smigol. J'ai loupé la blague là. <laughs> My precious, c'est ça, Smigol. Ça a une référence à la phrase My precious. Mais. Many, many small streets with old, old houses. I'm getting crazy to have to go straight like this to reach the water, guys. Park for the kiddos, and I guess okay, the bridge is over there. Some old houses still standing. Okay, we're hitting the water. 
so. Now we have to guess if our chance is to find the bridge with the marking they showed on the street on the map is to the left or to the right. <laughs> okay, I will get I will take a guess to the right guys. I will take a guess it's down this way. I don't know why. A gut feeling. Victor, are you déménaging? <laughs> I had to spill the beans, uh, Victor, because Inuvik was getting worried for you, so. Inuvik was missing his friend. Oh, guys. You know, look at the perspective under there. Look at that. Do you see how deep this goes? Like one kilometer. Both ways, actually. So, do we see any marking on some of those bridges? <sighs> I'm not sure it was the best info to follow, actually. Currently, uh, that's why I'm less on Twitch. I'm I'm crying because no Victor on your screen. Stay tuned. Tote Monaco. Monaco me chana itteru. That's the only body of water I could find around that could have a bridge, but. It doesn't end up the way I thought. Should not be closer to Midori Bashi, so should have been. Tsuruhashi is to my right, so I guess if we had old months to the to the entry of the Korean market. Korean district, it should be around here. Yeah, it's not, uh, yeah, from looking that way, it, it's not ending for a long while. <laughs> you have kilometers and kilometers of town down there. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so let's see. So one day we will uh, walk uh, to the mountain actually, hi, 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 it's a plan I've been having for a little while, go to the end of one of the train lines, of the subway lines, I guess the one that goes to Kadoma Minami, and from there walk as much as we can toward uh, Ikoma mountain, it should be fun. 
it's the city so you know i should have connection and stuff and it should be a nice long walk like a f five to six hours walk i think with a more you know suburban feeling to it actually you know here you have a body of water so you get a lot of mosquitoes Uh, no marking on the bridge here. Not quite good, yes. Not fun. Especially these days that um, we have dengue fever warnings once in a while. And we do have the race of mosquitoes that carries the dengue. We have the tiger here tiger mosquito so yeah you don't want to be fasted on so much a lumber place and people with a brand new house and just so varied, you know. I can bicycle, yes, but I don't like to bicycle in Japan actually. You know, all the rules people don't respect. And bicycle, you know, you need. You cannot stop wherever you want. You know, you're going and then you need to dismount. And uh, if I'm streaming, you need to have it to have your phone fixed on the bike and then take it off, go, to, go see the thing. Maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. Then put it back on and go again. Yeah. The bicycle stream is really not appealing to me. Okay, I'm not getting what I want. So we're gonna go down this street because it's nice and long. And I see some kind of market at the end. Or covered area. We have a church to the right. It goes with the Korean territory, you know. I will go one further. It's a bit bigger. Maybe the moon could be there. When the mosquito bites you, you devening dung. Yes, that one, yes. Okay, boss, sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, you need to get a bit for everybody. I'm the walking type. Other people enjoy biking, so, well, everybody should do what they like. It's fortunate that we have different tastes. <laughs> Makes different experiences for people to see. So actually, you know, I was almost missing out. This is the bridge I was looking for. Okay. Let me have a look at the back. There's no moon on this street. I love when it's that setting. You know, you have a small place and people have some kind of a private space in front of the house beside that okay this is the bridge we were looking for that's one thing we got nice let's see I will actually take the picture on the other side to have a wide enough view okay this is the bridge about Tsuruhashi. Okay, the design. On the sides, we do have a Kohun type of shape, you know, a log shape. 
If I turn this way, you can have it with a bigger. Thing. That's so. I guess this is Korean inspired. Might have a meaning in Korean. We'll have to look for it later on. So this will happen from time to time, you know, I, we will get to places I actually don't master yet. I'm on a discovery walk, basically. So it will happen more and more, actually. Still working on new knowledge and new places to show. We'll try to make sense of this thing later on. And so from this place, uh, we are looking for the mon, traditional mon of Tsuruhashi. So actually, yeah, I need to stop soon. I'm, I'm running late. Okay, we go one more street because I have a feeling. But uh, then I need to head to work. On the double. See, this is out of the covered market, and still, this is full of interesting small restaurants and shops and things, industries. Yes, I love when I am right. I should always be right. Here we have the traditional Korean district mons. So, doors or gates, more likely. Here we are. on an old shopping street. Yeah. We'll have to come back because this is actually even more. This is the actual Korea town. Never been to this place. I always thought that Tsuruhashi was limited to the covered market. But we have more. Okay, here we go. One more. Let's go down to the station through here. Well, you know, Isobimo, that's why I do this, this stream, actually, you know? It's uh, to keep useful archive on my research, of my research, on, on, of, of my site research. I would have done that all alone, you know? Now I do have a video with interaction with people that might see things I don't. So it's a big gain for me, actually, to do it with a stream.
Okay, you get the smell of Korea way more here. That's nice. You see, 20 years in this town and uh, I never did the, you know, the discovery dating part of things. So I missed places. That was a shame I had never seen this. Yes, Osaka does have a Korean town that is famous, but not, you know, famous enough for me to have been here before. So, it's a bit far from the station. No, it's not right at the station, so. It feels, it feels like a shopping street, but it's Korean. It's nice. So you have the local life with a Korean test to it. It is good. It is good. Oh, you have the K station. All about Korean idols. Not my cup of tea, but you know. I feel some people do like this. We'll have to ask Presi Kiwi if she came here. So guys, we did it. We got the Korean town. Good job, everybody. We did it. Oh, figures. I will check. I think my wife never came here. So for her, that's 40 years in, in Osaka. So I'm pretty sure she never came. So this guy, I think it's a next colleague, but there was no official reaction. Well, we have not worked together for 15 years, so I guess, you know. <laughs> I don't think that K-pop will take a hold on me. I need more guitars. Guys, there will be a tease because here we have a shrine. That shrine is not on the map, that's why I never knew it. Oh, finally it's coming out, okay. Nice.
Okay, we will research it because it has the imperial mark, so... We will come back to it someday. Oh, look! They have a cute little thing with the Temizuya. Nice, nice, nice! Very good productive day, guys. I'm very happy. This is the train station, the train road, railway. So... I need to kind of rush back to the station to go to work. I will keep you up to the station. Oh, lots of kimchi in there. Cafe wedding. Nice place on the other side of the street. So much content to, sh to show you guys. You know? I'm at a loss to not be able to keep going today. So much to show. I feel we didn't do enough. Only thing I can say is we will be back. On va se péter le bid dans ces quatre, les enfants. On va essayer de trouver un partenaire. On we'll va essayer de demander à Taro Kun ou Seb Kun. Pas Seb, mais Seb. Seb Kun. Peut-être. Who else would be around pour un pétage de bide quand il ouvre de nouveau? Need to think. Maybe Shafiq. Oh, that. Oh, my, oh, no. I don't have time to show you this, guys. But oh my God. K pop heaven in there. I guess I should come back with Prissy Kiwi. Because I think she's into this kind of stuff. Of course, if you guys come around, yes, there will be pétage de bid with you as well. And I mean, that might not be soon, but with Seb Kun or with uh, Taro Kun, that could happen way sooner. More K-pop fan over here. Toute une histoire Bah ben non, c'est une histoire, c'est... Ah, encore Pas si long comme histoire, en fait, Seb. C'est une histoire très... très répétitive et jouissive. Seb et la bouffe. En japonais, c'est... Baku, 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 baku. So I see a train over there. I'm getting close. Let's pass the guard.
I feel we had a good week because, you know, yesterday we got the theater for the masked idol band. Today we get, okay, I will cross here because it seems fun over there. Okay, so we are back to the Shoten Line. Macarons to our back and diving again, as promised, in the covered market. No, I'm not hungry because I had two hugely caloric macarons before and you know they're still on my stomach that was a heavy thing to not say you know the sh word the girls did put you know ch chocolate and sugar not mildly in there it was whew, uh, very Nice, very tasty experience, but uh, you know, my stomach still feels it. So this is just one little bit of the covered market, you know? This covered market is just, you know, huge, extensive. You have kilometers, you have literally kilometers in here. So, subway, subway. I guess English is kind of all right around here, yes? Um, I should go this way for the subway station. Oh, attention, Ced. Hein? On, a, on, est long, on est nombreux à avoir dit ça, et puis en fait, euh, ils nous ont battus. Je vous dirai dans le Discord, Inuvik, pour le nombre de pas, je vous dirai ça. Ok. Tsuluashi Station is here. C'est la Kintetsu pour le Subway. Pour le Subway, ça devrait être à gauche. Là. Ok. Je repars par là. Merci beaucoup Inuvinik. Tu tiens le pari à 18 000. Ah non, tu tiens le pari sur la, sur la bouffe. Ah. Pas de souci. Alors c'est pas Osaka par contre, hein, le concours de le concours de, de pâtes. Euh, je sais pas où on a un hein, Ryuki. Où on aurait un record à Osaka. Euh. Je ne sais plus si c'est Osaka ou Kyoto où on a le, le gros gyoza de la mort. Je 
suis déjà passé devant. Donc c'est Osaka ou Kyoto. Mais je sais plus. Il faut que je re-regarde. Ah, je suis sûr que tu es niveau champion, Seb, mais euh, les challenges ici qui donnent euh, sont quand même des trucs assez, assez sévèrement burnés. Hein. Ça a pas l'air, mais c'est chaud. Les Japonais sont capables de prendre des grosses quantités de bouffe. Par contre, si c'est trop sucré, trop, trop lourd, ils n'y arrivent pas. Mais du truc euh, basique, pas sucré, pas lourd, ils prennent en volume des choses assez énormes. Ouais, tous les youtubeurs euh, et, euh, et tous les, les streamers en ont parlé du gros gyoza de la mort. TV et Louis l'ont fait, je crois aussi. Okay guys, this was our first time in Suluhashi, Osaka. We are done for today. We went over two hours, yeah, two hours and a half. We went over our usual timing. Thank you for following me. I hope to see you again. Have fun. Uh, find me on my socials with the link social. Thank you to all of you for following me and I see you tomorrow for the interview of Shafiq and the interview will be related to animation. So please be here same time tomorrow, three o'clock uh, Japanese time. Thanks a lot. Bye.